Okay guys, so Zach headed back to the house. He's actually hunting tonight. Good luck to him. He had to go back, um, get a shower, get his gear on, get out in the tree. Um, we got a lot of stuff done this trip. We got the firewood rack finished. It looks good. It could use some work. Zach and I talked about some ways that we can um, improve it and divide our wood a little bit better. We'll do that next trip, but for now it works really good. Fire's still going. We're going to keep that stoked because today, like I said, it's in the low 40s, so it's cold, and I'm not doing a lot of labor today, so I got to keep that fire going. We got the back wall finished to the shelter. It's really sturdy, nice and secure, super happy with it. I'm so ready to do the last wall um, because I just feel more confident in my wall building skills. The first wall was a little rusty. I've never done it before. The second wall, I learned a lot about how to build and what to do and what not to do and we got that looking really good so the third wall should be bulletproof but for now the last thing on the list is to get this table done and last night we left off it was me rushing against uh, the clock didn't have a lot of daylight didn't bring my flashlight or my headlamp out here so it got dark really quickly normally I'll stay out here and just use the flashlight so I can film and so I can see but since I didn't have that I had to rush on out of here but we were able to get this top flat platform done in the sense that we were able to cut all the pieces lay them on here just to see what they look like now all we have to do is take these pieces they have knots and sticks and stuff poking out of them we got to clean them all up with the axe and the knife make sure we have a nice flat surface and then we're going to use our wax twine and we're going to tie these down and secure them on top of this platform so that they don't slide off or pop off um, if the weight or anything is unbalanced just gonna make sure they're nice and latched on here pretty well so we're gonna get to doing that stay with me so we got our tools laid out here we've got our axe we got our buck saw we've got my leatherman my knife this is the Tobbs Bob brother bushcraft knife and we've got our wax twine I also have my working stump here ready to go um, so we can use that to work on because we're working on this platform we can't really use it to prep our gear. So I'm going to take all my tools off, set them aside. I'm going to keep my twine in my pocket so that I have it. My Leatherman stays in my front left pocket as always and my knife in my sheath. So now it's a matter of figuring out which sticks go where and I'm thinking it's, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to cut this ridge pole off because when I come over here to work, I hit my head on it. So I might take this fourth ridge pole and move it over or just take it out entirely. We'll see, but for now, we gotta leave it in, but I just gotta watch my head and watch the way I'm working. We're trying to figure out how these sticks should lay. And then after that, we can get to cleaning them up and getting them organized. Now that the pieces are all set in place, what we have to do is take them and mark them so we know which way's up and which way's down, so that when we're working, we don't lose our spot. We're gonna go left to right here, I'm gonna mark them all up, and then we're gonna clean them up, latch them down, and this should be the first platform of our table. So I'm gonna come in here and take these pieces and I'm gonna take the top part and I'm gonna mark it with my knife. Just like this and this way I know that this piece is what goes up against the wall and I'm gonna do that on every single one because those ends are not getting cut the front ends they're gonna get cut all to the same length so it's nice and flush but the back pieces are gonna be against the wall and they're gonna get pushed up against that permanently so we don't have to worry about that so it's safe to mark them there and we won't lose the spot and we'll always know which way they face So I want to share a little trick with you guys. For those of you who like to film um, outdoors, uh, this will help. So I keep my batteries in this lens case here. Um, 
so it zips up. I have a belt loop on here. I also have a loop for a carabiner. I can wear this on my pack or on my belt. I can put it on my pack. Um, but in the winter time or when it's cold out, batteries seem to die a lot faster. So what I used to do, which isn't really smart, I used to keep this bag around the fire and I would rotate it a little bit. But you can step on it, your bag can get wet, your bag can melt, catch on fire, and you don't want that. So what I use are hand warmers. So I'll just take one of these hand warmers out of the pack. So I'll take this and I'll put this under the pack here, or I'll feed it through the belt loop, just like this. So this way it doesn't come off the bag. And I'll put that probably like this, or like this in my pack or in my jacket pocket and what that'll do is it'll keep these batteries nice and warm and it'll prevent them from getting cold and dying faster I also keep my phone in that same pouch so my phone and my batteries stay in here and they stay warm from that hand warmer and they go for hours on end and you can be out here all day or all night and that's just a little trick to keep your batteries from dying fast. All right, let's get back to this table. Step two is to clean up all of these pieces of wood. I can use my ax, I can use my knife. We've gotta clean them all up, take all the knots off, take all the little twigs and pieces that are sticking out off so that it's nice and smooth. We have a nice smooth surface and everything will fit next to each other, nice and snug and it won't roll around and it'll be good to go. All right, one down, like a hundred more to go. So I'm almost finished the table now, just got a couple extra pieces to do. Uh, the fire's dying down a little bit, and like I said, it's cold today, so what we're going to do is rearrange the fire, stoke it up, put some wood on it just to keep it going and keep me warm. 
Uh, the shelter works pretty good. I can feel the heat reflecting in and out of it. So um, I'm not too cold, but there is still a chill in the air. So we're just gonna get this fire stoked back up and get back to work. One thing that really comes in handy while I'm out here is this kneeling pad. So this is like what you would use um, for gardening or for working outdoors. You use it to kneel on so that your knees don't get bruised up and you have a soft surface to work on. But this works great for stoking the fire. I can just sit here and give it a light fan or I can give it a heavy fan. Um, and it's nice and stiff and it works. It's very lightweight, fits in my pack, it gives my back a nice cushion and my pack it stands up slides right in there and fits good. Um, really inexpensive. You can get them at like any hardware store and they work really great and it's a good item to have in your kit. Now all of our pieces are cleaned up. They're nice and smooth. They're ready to go. The next step is to take our saw. We're going to cut the slit in both sides of these pieces of wood and then we're going to take this twine and we're going to wrap them on the front and then over here on the back and get these latched in. And then after that, we're going to take our saw and we're going to clean up this edge so that they're all the same length. So first, we're going to push all of these pieces back against the wall here and get them all lined up the way they have to be and cleaned up. them all along this piece. This piece is a little short, which might be a problem. Alright, so we've got one piece that's just too straggly and we've got another one that is too short. So what we're going to do, we got to go find two more pieces of wood um, at this length, but this width and this width. And then we can get going on getting these cut up and latched down. Okay guys, that is perfect. That is how we are going to get these guys on here, just like this. So what I'm going to do now is take my Mora, and I'm going to mark like a diagonal line so that I can come through and wrap each one of these with twine. So I'm just going to score this with my knife. So now that both of our sides are marked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this first piece as a tester. And I'm going to take this buck saw and I'm going to go along the line that we had, that little score, and I'm just going to hash a little piece out on both sides, take our twine, thread it through, and see how well it fits in this, in the little hash, a little mark that we make, and see if our lines line up to the way that I want to wrap these on here and latch them down. Okay, so the sample worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to go through, score all these ones, and lash it down. We're going to start from the back end near the wall. We're going to go along here, get them done, and then we're going to go on the front, get them latched down, and then cut them all so they're flush.
Okay, so I'm debating on whether I want to leave these two pieces out so I can hang things from here or if I want to close this whole table off. It's a hard decision. I think for now I'm going to leave it and then if I want to latch this end piece on, I will. But so far this process is working out really good. It's going to be a slow and tedious process so I'm only going to film a little bit of it and then I'm going to get to work latching these down. Alright, so I've changed my plan a little bit. Instead of pre-cutting and then just latching it down, what I have to do is I have to go through with everyone, wrap the twine around, get my line, score it with my knife, and then I take my saw, cut the slit, and then I put it back and wrap it with the line, and then I do that again. Uh, it's a little bit slower than what I wanted to do, but I want this to be done right, and I'm going to put the time and effort into it and make it as best as I can. So. That's what we're doing right now.